My grub lovers, who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I have a special treat for you guys. I am going to give you the five steps to eat what you want and still lose weight. Okay, these are five steps that I go by um, on a daily basis to still be able to post my content daily for you guys, still eat whatever I want, try whatever I want, and still maintain a certain amount of weight, okay? Uh, since I began doing this YouTube thing, I haven't gained more than two pounds, and I've, I was able to maintain at that weight and drop those pounds. So, I'm going to give you guys the tips to let you guys know how to do so, what I do to actually make that work for me, and... Uh, you know, hopefully it'll help you guys out. Now, these top secrets, so you can't tell anybody, all right? Check it out. Okay, guys. So, tip number one, exercise regularly, okay? So, regardless if you're eating like, you know, like I do or anybody else, uh, it's always good to exercise regularly, okay? And the reason why it's good to exercise regularly because your body will get accustomed to, to remaining active. You remain active, uh, then you're able to do a lot of things uh, to continuously burn calories. Your body will be accustomed to you burning calories. That way, something as sleep, uh, something as simple as walking, uh, you know, jogging, uh, you know, sit-ups, push-ups, you know, those things continuously doing on a daily basis. And it doesn't have to be a tremendous amount, uh, but it has to be, you know, uh, exercises that you can do on a regular basis. And you'll you'll see a difference. Uh, and what I mean by that is, even when you're not working out or even when you're not exercising, you will feel hot or you will sweat sometimes because you, your body will be accustomed to you burning calories, okay? And you would actually burn calories even while you're eating. So, like I said, you know, that's one, that's step one. You know, if you're going to do this, please make sure uh, that, you know, you're exercising regularly, you know, if you're going to eat uh a lot of food even if you're not just make sure you're exercising regularly it's good for you uh, and it's definitely something that would keep you maintaining a certain level of weight okay that's step one okay step two remain consistent now we're remaining consistent that's with everything okay if you guys noticed uh i pretty much post every day okay so even though i eat every day on and off camera I remain consistent on how I eat. You know, I eat in portions. You guys will see me, I'll eat, I'll stop, I talk, I eat. I don't overstuff myself. I don't, you know, cram everything into my face. You know, I, I remain consistent on how I eat, uh, you know, how I uh, consistently, you know, uh, have my meals, whether it's morning, uh, lunch, and dinner. I look at all of these things, okay? And I remain consistent on how I eat so my metabolism continues uh, to move fast. So the problem with a lot of people is you may eat a meal, a, a huge meal in one day, and you're like, oh, man, I'm full. And that meal may be, you know, when you get off work, right? You don't eat any breakfast. You eat one huge meal when you get off, and you're stuffed. When you lay down, you wake up, and you still feel miserable uh, because your metabolism isn't used to you having a regular digestive system, okay? So your metabolism is moving hella slow, okay? And <laughs> because of the fact that it's moving so slow, you know, you're like, man, I'm, I'm eating, I'm not even eating that much, but I'm gaining weight. And that's why you have to regulate your metabolism. So by eating consistently at a consistent basis, uh, your metabolism will regulate and it will cause you to actually lose weight, okay? Okay, step three, you have to get sleep, okay? A lot of people feel like they see you doing, you know, oh man, I, I'm so busy, I work, I do this, I only have time to grab a, a quick bite to eat, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, but you have to allow your body to get its proper rest. What people don't understand is that when you uh, deprive your body of proper rest, you don't actually get to burn calories as you're supposed to your body is in a, a constant state of flux and it there is no regulation and with that it's going to be hard as ever to lose weight what people also don't understand is you actually burn calories in your sleep so you're exercising you're regulating your metabolism and then on top of that 
you're giving yourself that good seven seven to eight hours of sleep and by doing so you you may notice yourself uh sweating in your sleep or getting hot and you're like man why am i hot you know you're taking the covers off putting it back on and it's because you're burning calories in your sleep understand that regulation and body regulation actually uh causes the body to work on its own you know that's regulation it works on its own okay so you know a lot of times we think that that's not the case but look at it you know what i mean what are we doing now some people are watching tv some people are at work some people are at home uh but the body still takes time to tell you hey i'm hungry hey i'm sleepy hey i don't feel good regardless of what you're doing your body still lets you know these things okay so that's the body working on its own but if you want it to work on its own and in your favor properly then you have to treat the body right okay so you have to get some sleep that is is definitely required okay so listen to me when i tell you sleep works okay step four know your limits okay a lot of times and i, and I think i've said this before is when you're eating uh, or when you're hungry let's say you know make sure you choose wisely what you decide to eat okay because a lot of times you know when you're hungry you'll eat whatever you can you know what i mean so you have to understand that by doing so you may over stuff yourself and in turn you're going to feel worse than you felt before when you were actually hungry okay so you have to know your limits a lot of times you'll see people uh you know let's say you go out of town you're staying at a hotel and you're asleep and you're like man i didn't know what i was going to eat last night i was up so late you know so i'm going to eat in the morning and they wake up in the morning and they're starving right so they go down to the buffet and they eat everything they, they just start throwing things on their plate right so the eyes is telling them listen oh this looks good the bacon looks good the sausage looks good the grits the eggs the bagels oh i'm gonna get this oh this fruit looks good and you don't realize that now you have two plates of food that you're taking that, that you're taking with you to eat right now your body is going to end up rejecting some of that food because of the fact that you're overdoing it okay the eyes want what it wants you know but the body is going to tell you hey listen this is this is a little too much i can't handle it know your limits okay because what happens is if you start to show your body that no no i know you want to push this back but i, I can take it your body's going to start consuming it and it's going to start to find places to put all of the food and that's when you get those uh what do they call them fat pockets in your body where this fat stays no matter what you do no matter how you work out you can't lose that certain fat that comes from overeating okay uh, at the end of the day there's only a certain amount of space in your body so what happens is the body begins to stretch in order to uh take on all the extra eating that you're doing so know your limits you know your limits you definitely know when it's time to stop and you, you don't have to eat because you can okay you know if you're hungry cool eat but you don't have to eat until like oh my gosh i'm so full i never want to eat again eat to take away the hunger and move on okay right, please step five drink lots of water okay and i say this because uh what people don't understand is that even though water is good for you and it helps cleanse out the body uh the body is already made up of 70 percent water right so we know that water can hold us over for a certain period of time i think you can go about three days without eating based or drinking based on water so if you are eating but you're drinking a lot of water you're consuming a lot of water uh it'll take away your hunger okay so what i do is like i'll eat i'll eat but then i drink lots of water as well and it allows me to uh still remain active without being hungry all day and i can still eat in between you know i'll eat my fruit here and there and stuff like that to uh, keep my metabolism regulated but at the same time uh, i do continuously drink a lot of water to make sure uh, that i don't have those problems where uh, i have gaps where i want to eat you know what i mean so the water helps you kind of feel full so it fills that void um, that's why I say make sure you consume a lot of water. Uh, well, technically, you're supposed to drink about a gallon a day. And I know a lot of people don't do that. Uh, you know.
you know, because water doesn't have sugar in it, you don't have it. Like you can consume, I guarantee you a lot of people consume a gallon of juice a day or a gallon of soda a day, you know, because it's easy to do. You know what I mean? It's flavorful, it has the, the sugar in it and everything. So it's easier. But what you don't understand is the more sugar and sodium in your drink, the more thirsty you're actually gonna be. Okay? So it's not really helping, it's actually making you making you thirstier. So consume water. Uh, water actually gives you the full feeling. Um, it actually takes away hunger pain. So if you're if you are eating, you definitely want to consume a lot of uh, uh, consume a lot of water. So when I do my videos, a lot of times I drink a lot of water prior to actually shooting my video, uh, as well as after. You know, and what it does is it maintains uh, me continuously throughout the day. Depending on what time of the day it is, it doesn't even matter. And that's the good thing about drinking the water because I have consumed so much throughout the day, it doesn't matter if it's morning, noon, or night, I have to make sure uh, you know, that I stay hydrated and it'll actually help me out along the way. So keep that in mind, guys. You wanna maintain that to definitely continuously drink a lot of water, okay? So all in all, like I said, you know, if you, you make sure you exercise regularly, uh, you know, have a regular regimen of exercise, remain consistent uh, you know you make sure that you get you some rest okay definitely get your sleep in seven to eight hours is the norm you know you, you pay attention to what you're eating so you know your limits and you know uh, you just you make sure that you know you pay attention to uh, how much water you consume you guys be good to go man uh, that's what I do like I said other people may you know do different things but that's what works for me and I feel like, uh, you know, if you pay attention to those steps, guys, you'll be fine. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you have some steps that you guys go by in order to lose weight. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.